Franz Schubert was born on January 31st, 1797, in the town called Himmelfort Ground, meaning the Gates of Heaven, in Austria. His father, Franz Theodor, a schoolmaster, and his mother, Elizabeth, they had 14 children. Franz was their 12th child. At age 11, he became a member of Imperial Seminary, the predecessor of Vienna Boys Choir, and took composition classes from Salieri. He was chubby, a round face, round glasses. His nickname was a mushroom. At seminary, he was moved by Beethoven's music. And decided to be a composer. At age 16, Schubert left the seminary and became a school teacher as his father wished. But he continued composing in the classroom. His Wild Rose and Lullaby were written in his teens. At age 19, his friend Schober invited Schubert to room with him at mother's house. No longer living at home, no longer teaching, the days of wandering continued. He composed in the morning until the afternoon. An evening spent at bars with his friends. Schober introduced Schubert to Fogel, a prominent baritone who helped promoting Schubert's works, including Ari King. An event held to celebrate the music of Schubert was called a Schubertyard, and his music began to spread through Vienna. In the summer of 1818, Count Esterhazy engaged Schubert to teach his two daughters, Marie and Caroline. A poetic flame, which sprang up in his heart for a beautiful Caroline, continued to burn, and she became his muse. On the other hand, he started to go to brothels. In 1821, he published Ari King as Opus One. Next year, he composed Wanderer Fantasy. Also, he was composing a symphony later called Unfinished. Around this period, Schubert contracted the disease that changed his whole life. Music was his salvation. This piece, Ave Maria, was composed in his later years. In 1827, at Beethoven's funeral, he participated as a torchbearer. His first public concert took place on the first anniversary of Beethoven's death. The event was a big success, but soon. He got typhoid fever. His brother Ferdinand by his side. Schubert died on November 19th. He was 31 years old. After his death, young Schumann visited Ferdinand's apartment, and there he found valuable manuscripts and transmitted to posterity. List. Was the central figure in the 19th century promotion of Schubert. His music and fame bloomed after his death. He was born at the gates of heaven, and buried by the side of his idol Beethoven. Then returned to heaven. Schubert once wrote, "When I wish to sing of love." It turned to sorrow, and when I wished to sing of sorrow, it turned to love. His beautiful and wistful melody, everlasting, 
always singing to your heart. <laughs>